welcome to our epoxy skill series training. We've already done some steps on this project. We've built the substrate. We've cut out the center and done our clear casting. We've also prepped this with a rock face edge. In our skills training, you're gonna learn step by step how to take wood and turn it into an exotic marble piece that lights up with LED lights. We're gonna show you in this video exactly how we do the color coat, how we blend the two together, how we've made this piece appear like mother nature created it out of a piece of granite stay tuned enjoy the video remember when you subscribe to our channel click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video thanks again looks outstandingly good and it's, the light comes through it so nice. It does? Yes. Yes. I don't want to drip on this part of my table. So I'm just masking it off. Okay, on this piece, I was considering honing it. But I don't know. I don't know if I want to now that I saw how that light comes through. It might look better totally clear. So let's go a little bit more wild with this. We're gonna see what it looks like adding some dimension and some depth um, uh, and, and just playing with the colors that we already use, that white, the black, the copper. And we even have that uh, violet pearl in there, a little bit of pink, a little bit of pearl. Uh, I say let's do it. Let's test that out. I'm just gonna do this one as if it's going in my house and the way that I would like it. And we'll see how it comes out. Let's do it. We're gonna use our stone coat countertop epoxy and some additives. We're gonna use bright metallic silver spray paint. We're gonna use brass. And of course, we're gonna use black and white. I love using black and white to create contrast. We're gonna use our deep silver and we're gonna mist that black spray paint to open up fractures. At least this is the plan. I always start with a plan in mind and morph and meld my options as we go. Okay, also what I'm gonna do is mix in the epoxy, our deep silver, our diamond dust, our white metallic and our violet pearl. Those are gonna be accents to give me what I'm looking for to match this crystallized quartz vein that's running through the center of this. I'm gonna have a good time. We're gonna mix up our epoxy, then we're gonna create reservoirs. These reservoirs are gonna hold some of our color. We're gonna pour this color out randomly and I think I'm gonna use my hands. We're gonna move this around knowing that our product really self levels. Stone Coat Countertop Epoxy is designed to mimic mother nature and create natural stone over anything. Don't remodel your next project without watching this video. We're gonna show you exactly how to create techniques simply using your hands. I'm gonna come back tomorrow after I'm done with my color coats. I'm gonna do a clear coat. What this accomplishes is a couple of things. I'm gonna cover any additive like spray paint or our metallics or the alcohol, anything that's in the surface that I don't want as a finished countertop, that's gonna be covered with our clear epoxy. That's important. You don't want any additive as your finished surface. It's also going to self-level and any high or low point or where these two color coats join up, it's going to hide that seam. That's a pro tip and that's how we get it done and get it flat. All right, we're going <laughs> to... Okay, ready? ready? All right. We're going to mix for two minutes. <laughs> All right guys, we're gonna mix for two minutes using a drill. You wanna make sure that you rub the bottom and the sides of the bucket. You wanna keep... All <laughs> Remember this guys, epoxy is easy when you have the steps. We've created a basics page teaching you step by step how to do this epoxy process from scratch. Check it out at stonecoatcountertops.com and we'll see you on our epoxy basics page. Pro tip, by using plastic underneath your projects, the epoxy will peel up the next day, so it creates a great substrate to pour on without worry of damaging what you're pouring on top of. This is designed for pouring countertops. It's nice and flat and level. Take your time, get a good pour area so you can concentrate on your work and not on your mess. It's really good when you have help 
to uh, get you get you mixed when you're doing lots of additives like this. That can um, hurt your working time by keeping everything inside the cup. So get it out of the cup as soon as possible. Therefore, solicit some help to mix. Right, Mitch? That's right. I'll help you mix anytime, brother. <laughs> Those who mix together, stay together. All right, I'm gonna actually mix up some of these with some spray paint in them too. I'm gonna go this, uh, this silver metallic. Here, I'm just gonna go random, man. You wanna start pouring those randomly? Sure. Is the fun part. I'm just gonna use my hands and move it. Actually, you know what I'm gonna use? I'm gonna use a paper towel. I'm gonna move this around with a paper towel just to get the colors integrated. Step back and check it out and then add color from that point. Here we go. bit over here I might be able to use on the rest of this. This is gonna be really pretty. So I'm putting the focal vein and then I'll just use that color to kind of get into the rest of the color here too. Make sure that I carry that vein, not just concentrate it in one spot, but pull that color to the rest of the countertop as well. That ties everything together. Here's some of that bright silver. Now I'm gonna granify this thing here. I'm gonna spray some more silver in this too. Some antique brass in that. Gives it some patches of other color there. See what it's doing here where it breaks that color up. I'm gonna take all these colors now, and just really rub this edge. Guys, there's a little bit of surface tension right here. All you need to do is just tap that and the uh, epoxy will now self-level and it won't be a divot. If it does remain a divot, the clear coat will take care of that. That's no problem either. But now's a good time to just look at any dry spots that may have surface tension that's not allowing that epoxy to go in. I learned to use the tongue depressor method from Rhonda. Uh, she did a really good job teaching me how to do this and it looks kind of funky at first. You gotta let it do its thing and then come back and check it out. I think I might do it right through here too. But let's just miss some silver right to this edge and see what happens. Yeah, look at that. And then just tap it. <laughs> that looks good. 
That looks really cool adding that silver to that edge. Watch this. And then I'm just gonna tap it. I'm gonna peel the tape in about three hours. As, as this is gelled up but not hard, I'll peel that tape and I'll probably use a popsicle stick to kind of bring the two pieces together so it looks like a tear of quartz is in the center of this massively beautiful exotic granite. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes. Actually, a few hours on my end and like, like seconds on yours. All right guys, it's been a couple of hours, we're back. I'm actually gonna tap these edges a little bit. I'm gonna fog them with some spray paint, tap them again, just to give them a little bit more dimension, depth, and realism. Let's do it. I like the way that silver looks. I'll do silver and black. And then I'm gonna do some on this end here. And then a little bit of black. And then by tapping that, I think it'll give us a really cool edge. Okay, let's do it. All right, it's time to peel this tape. Let's feel the drips underneath here. So you can feel they're pretty gummy. And I think by peeling the tape now, is the perfect time. A rock face edge is really forgiving. You can do that on the bottom, and when you rub your hand on it, it's just gonna feel natural like it was meant to be like that. Okay, time to peel that tape. Okay, let me get my heat gun out, heat this up a little bit. What I think I'm gonna do is mix up a little bit of clear epoxy. I'm gonna pour it right here, and then I'm just gonna fracture that, just fog and fracture that, and see what it looks like. I, I think that will blend these two a little bit better. I'm just gonna pour a little clear, and then I'm gonna spray it with some spray paint and fracture it to blend this in. I'm gonna switch to some cleaner gloves. Now that I've taken the tape off, it just doesn't seem to be a perfect match, so we're gonna work on that. That's what we needed. Right? Huh? Yes. Oh, that looks good. Watch this. Spray a little of that deep silver just to give it that same tint. Yes. I think I'm just gonna put this down here just to block it from flowing. Just put that and then I'll just push it so it doesn't wanna flow any more than that. I like that. I'll come back tomorrow and sand it. We'll put a clear on.
guys, we got the color coat down and there's a few more steps to go. We have all the videos from starting the substrate to finishing it like a pro. If you want to learn how to do a matte finish, if you want to learn how to do your clear coat, if you want to learn how to install, check it out at StoneCoatCountertops.com. Until next time from Stone Coat Countertops, you got this. We'll see you on the next video.